Okay, my cat's making weird sounds. Um, welcome back to my channel. I'm about to do another video. I might post it on the same day so that, you know, people have 40 minutes of content for me. Mojo, hush. Psh. Um, you don't know why people would want that, but whatever, you know. <laughs> I, I still haven't slept since my last video, so, you know, because this is right after it, obviously. Uh, but we are trying to get some meds now, so, for some guy that we hit, which makes no, I don't, I don't understand it, but, you know, we're just gonna go and probably get the crap scared out of us again. Oh, I need to shrink myself. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like yeah, years. Get bigger. Messing around with there. A radio? I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. I thought we were supposed to get the pills. Hmm, nothing. Hmm, nothing. No batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. Oh, she definitely did. Yeah. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You don't know what a battery looks like? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Why does there people on? Sure. Seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. <laughs> Relatable. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? No. Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. It was kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Interesting. I better get back to it. Yep. Yep. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. I don't want to. Sure. Uh, I go have a look my around. stupid cool. fat and fingers. We'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary. I'm not trying to hit these it's things. Great. I don't want to go outside with the walkers. Stop scaring me, Mojo. Oh, okay, there's a gate, but like still. Why are we watching this then? Oh yeah, because I picked the wrong thing. They eat you, and whatever's left comes back as one of them. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. Just a couple days. We better keep it down out of here. I don't even want to be in here. Stop moving so fast, please. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. Not a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? They got there, them. Most of who you see wanted. Oh, well, that's a good answer too. Did you guys try to get in there? And I get already weapons? clicked. I did, but it was too risky. Not a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there.
So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. I don't want to do it. Anybody, you know, if they start rotting and get all chewed up. Shut up, Doc. You tell him. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Mm -hmm. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. What are we supposed to find? Did you guys try to get in there and find <gasps> I did, but it was too What are we touching? Wait, what? Think you can do anything with this? Jesus, why is my phone going off? Yeah. Why do we have it's a when did we get a remote? I don't like the con controls that feel backwards on this thing. Why can't I click on him? I just want to know. I want to go back inside. My uncle. He just texted up and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time on the computer. I can't. I just don't want to do anything. What about you? I don't like it. I just sort of ended up here. Can we stop talking cool. and go back inside? You've got that little girl with you. Yeah. I'm just taking care of her. Oh my god. Let's head back inside. Okay. Okay. That's the dude we saw, right? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> Can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Yeah, he's probably actually bit. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. Probably not. The worst plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. Lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. We haven't you even spoken Lee, to her. She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, you got a second? Sure. 
Oh my god, Back stop talking. Farm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not proud of it. No. She's nuts. Let that boy die. I know, man. I know. Just saying. Oh, take. You free duck, you clear your head, and we get that tractor off his leg. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. Yes, yeah, should. Good. You should. Count on one another. Mm-hmm. He got nothing to say to us. I don't know what I just took. Where's the radio check now? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Oh my god, what does the radio have to do with anything? figure it out huh I just don't care try to get some rest huh how can I with those things out there <laughs> whoops it's all melted now Okay, what am I supposed to be doing in here? Alive inside. Doors open, dead inside. Fox sakes. I can't, I really can't handle these games. Doesn't look alive inside. Why is she following us now? This is random. Nope. That door leads to the back alley. Is that proof? Wait, was that him? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. Was that us? I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer. I don't really care. Awkward. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. We've got this little girl to take care of. Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I 
you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Let's actually talk to the girl for once. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No. We're gonna be honest with the little oh. girl. Was he bad? I should have grabbed the first aid kit. Can we just go back in there? I just think I saw a first aid kit. And apparently we can't do anything else in here. Oh my god. The pills are in there. this hey there and uh it is glenn in the jam here uh little girl if you're there can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever this is lee what's up so i'm down at that motor inn and well uh, i'm stuck stuck there's a dryer yeah, I, uh, and a washing machine so going while i'm listening to this and it's all a lot of, a of freaking noises What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? Okay. I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there. Right we a now. team. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I don't know what else to say. All right, this is 18 minutes. Not much was happening in this episode, but I guess we're just leading up to the other stuff. But uh, yeah. So I'm done filming. I want to go to bed. So you know, there's your two episodes. Um. Hopefully we'll do another one tomorrow. Good luck with your lives, zombies. Catch you on the flip side.